Mastering short answers in the past continuous tense. Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to focus on a very specific, yet incredibly useful part of conversational English. Short answers in the past continuous tense. They might sound a bit tricky, but trust me, by the end of this video, you'll be using them like a pro. Let's dive in. Before we move to short answers, let's quickly review what the past continuous tense is all about. It is used to describe an action that was happening at a specific time in the past. The structure is quite simple. We use was or were and the base form of the verb plus ing. For example, I was reading a book yesterday evening. Now, let's look at how we can give short answers in this tense. When somebody asks you a question in the past continuous tense, you can respond in a short and concise way. For example, if someone asks, were you reading a book yesterday evening? Instead of saying, yes, I was reading a book yesterday evening, you could simply say, yes, I was, or, no, I wasn't. That's your short answer. The general structure is, yes, no, plus subject plus was, were, or wasn't, weren't for negative answers. Let's go through some more examples. Were they playing football yesterday? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Was she cooking when you arrived? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were we studying hard last semester? Yes, we were. No, we weren't. Practice with these, and soon you'll find yourself giving short answers in the past continuous tense naturally. And that's it for today's lesson on forming short answers in the past continuous tense. We hope this video made the concept clear and easy to understand. Remember, the key to mastering any new grammatical structure is practice, practice, and more practice. So, keep using these short answers in your conversations. See you in our next video. Happy learning!